Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family to let you know about the recent updates for Fusion 360 Electronics. From the file pull down menu, you can access the electronic design and electronic library editors for Fusion 360. The electronic design workspace includes the schematic and PCB editor. And from the PCB editor, you'll be able to export all the necessary manufacturing data to get your board prototype or manufactured. Now, it's time to tell you all about the new features and improvements. Hi, and welcome back. Adding parts to the Fusion 360 schematic editor is as simple as using the add command and selecting the parts you need from the thousands of libraries available in our repository. Our repository is not limited by our team of librarians. It includes libraries managed by our partners, such as T Connectivity, Worth Electronics, and much more. Since we are talking about libraries, I would like to let you know that even though we have such a large amount of libraries, there will be occasions that you'll have to make your own parts. So let's go over to the Fusion 360 library editor. The library editor includes multiple editors to create symbols, footprints, 3D models, and devices. You can use the available templates in the package editor to create your footprint and corresponding 3D model quickly. In our latest update, you're going to notice we've added the SMT single or double row header template to the package calculator. After entering the component specifications, you will have your footprint and 3 d model in moments. Our highly motivated team of developers are committed to continuing adding more packages templates to make part creation easier and faster for you. Let's return to the schematic editor to tell you about a valuable improvement that has been adopted from our PCB editor. As you already have experienced, in the PCB layout editor, moving components will preserve their angles of their traces. In the schematic editor, this will now be set as your default. By preserving the angle, you will no longer require using the split command to fix those nets and odd angles. This should really improve your experience and your design time. From the schematic editor, it's easy to switch to the PCB editor. Fusion 360 keeps real-time annotation between schematic and the board editor. Any changes to the schematic will immediately update the circuit board. Since we're now on the board editor, let me point out some improvements on this workspace. Now, you have the option to have the pads and the vias use the same color as the layers. From your preferences dialog box, notice that under electronic color selection, there is the new option to have the pads and the vias adopt the same color preference. This should make it so much easier to appreciate the pad and the via shape and sizes on the inner layers. Let's stay on the PCB. That way I could tell you about one of my favorite new features. From the PCB workspace, I would like to point out our grid settings. Notice that we have a viewable working grid and an alternative grid. With this grid combination, you can balance part placement signal routing that aligns with your design requirements. After pushing the design to the 3D model, moving assets would snap to the 3D model workspace grid, creating a disconnect between the PCB and the 3D model. Well, in this update, you now have the option to drag components in the 3D model using the PCB grid or the alternative grid. This improvement will give you a unified experience while working on the design. By having a consistent grid, changes on the PCB will be so much easier to achieve. Congratulations, you now completed your PCB and it's time to create your manufacturing files. Fusion 360 supports Gerber 274X and X2 formats as well as your traditional Exelon file format. These file formats are great to get your board manufactured, but they didn't have any PCB details such as bill of materials or pick and place data. Open Database Format is a manufacturing oriented PCB data format which includes all of the necessary data for fabrication, assembly, and testing using a single file format. 
ODB++ is the most widely used intelligent data exchange format in the PCB industry. From the manufacturing tab, you now can export the ODB++ only. Or by using the one-click manufacturing solution, CamExpert, this will also include the ODB++ files, Gerber files and Exelon files, pick and place and bill of materials. When invoking the CAM processor, you're gonna notice that there is now an ODB++ section. The CAM export and CAM processor will load the CAM template that best matches your signal layer stack up. By submitting your design files in ODB++, the manufacturer will be able to have a lot more detail of your design, which will help avoiding manufacturer errors. With our continued partnership with ANSYS, you are now able to export ANSYS electronic database files. You will find the ANSYS option in the new simulation tab. This option now empowers Fusion 360 users to export ANSYS files and gives you a choice to launch ANSYS desktop if you have it installed. By exporting Fusion 360 electronic designs with ANSYS, SI Wave, and electronic desktops for electronic designers and engineers will make electromagnetic simulation easy, powerful, and accessible, leading to the reduction of design cycle time and increased profit for electronic designers as they reduce prototyping and certification costs. There are many new and improved features in this most recent Fusion 360 update. Remember that your Eagle files are 100% compatible with Fusion 360. For questions or to learn more about this recent update, please visit us at the Fusion 360 Electronics Forum. All this and more with Fusion 360.